Please, meet Ansa Odogu, one of the best nurses we have in this hospital. Yes, sir. <laughs> one of the best. I thought you would have given me the very best. It is finished. guys welcome back to my channel oh today i have a great one for you um this one is a nigerian movie so i'm so excited i'm giddy i'm happy <laughs> i love nigerian movies um but yeah today i wanted to review a movie called half broken things it's a 2023 movie that was produced by uchenna mbunabo and the main character is played by chinonso arubai that's her name and she's playing the character of a nurse um, so in this movie, I'll give you guys a quick breakdown if you've never seen the movie before. But in this movie, she is hired to be a private duty nurse for a very influential lady who is a philanthropist, but who also deals with some trauma that kind of centers around her children and the relationship that she has or doesn't have with them and kind of trying to bring that relationship back together again. And, and because of that, fracture in her relationship with her children she kind of goes through a lot of stress in her life and things like that so the nurse chinonso is hired to help her out with some of the health challenges that she's currently facing okay guys there are several things i like about this movie so i like the way chinonso is portrayed as somebody who really cares about her patient and not only her patient but even the underprivileged in society, right? She lives in not very good conditions because she, I guess she doesn't make a lot of money as a nurse. So her living conditions are less than optimal, but she still brings her you know, finances to help those who are even worse off than her. So she's seen in one of the scenes, giving money to a lady whose husband has left her and things like that. So she's always very generous and philanthropic, right? With the little that she does have. Now, what I don't like about this movie, so many things, oh gosh, so many things. And this is, <laughs> I know this is my passion. So sometimes I get passionate when I'm talking about it. So please forgive me. I think I'm gonna just play some scenes for you guys and then we can talk about it afterward, okay? So the first scene that I'm gonna play, let's see here. The first one I'm gonna play is the initial scene when she actually does get hired by the lady and kind of an interview process or what would you call it, okay? So guys, take a look at this. Please meet Ansa Udogu, one of the best nurses we have in this hospital. Yes, sir. <laughs> one of the best. You would have given me the very best. Not this. Young lady, was your school on the nursing board examination? I came to the first man. To wait the first? Not even the top ten. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause it there. <laughs> when she says 21st, she is like, um, <laughs> why would you even ask somebody where, like, where they fell in the nursing boards? That's not a question that you would typically hear patients asking their nurses or their physicians for that matter. And it's even the way she's looking at her with utter disgust. Like, you don't even look fit for the role I don't really like the way Chinonso's hair looks. I think that she could have maybe presented herself in a better way. Even if you're working in the hospital, you should present the appearance that you want people to respect and know you for. Uh, you shouldn't come in looking sort of not well kept, right? So I think that the hair was a little bit of an issue for me. However, <laughs> this lady really just looked her up and down and... <laughs> <laughs> and almost spat in her face. I mean, she looked like she was completely disgusted with her. 
And the physician just sits there and doesn't even provide any sort of counter. He's just like, mm -hmm, yeah, she's a rich patient, so I'm not going to say anything that's going to ruin my chances. All right, let's keep watching. I have gone through your thoughts. Two mornings. Records of insubordination to your superiors. But I turn over ten rating from patients and their families' feedback. It's all right. I'll manage her. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's the doctor for me. Like, I'll manage her. Thank you. <laughs> what? Why are you saying thank you? This guy just insulted your nurse colleague and you're over here saying thank you? Anyway, that aside, okay, so that scene really just annoys me because this is one instance of the many times that she insults her, that she berates her, that she calls her you're just a nurse and this girl just continues to push and push and push and do what she can for her to help her out and to give her the best possible outcomes for her life okay so the second scene let me see the second scene is one where she's working for her at this point and she is making her bed and doing all the things which by the way i didn't know that nurses would make beds in the homes of clients but that's a I don't know. That's another topic. She's not domestic staff, so I don't think that she should be responsible for making her bed. If she was there to provide one-to-one -one care, that's a completely different thing where she has to be with her at all times. However, making her bed should not be part of the things that the nurse does at the house. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't practice in Nigeria, so I don't know, but I suppose that would, I don't know. Anyways, guys, forgive me. Let's keep on watching. So this one is the next scene where she's making her bed and she comes in the room. All right, that's fine. Can I sleep now? Yes, your bed is ready, man. You can sleep. <sighs> and what are you still doing here? Oh, God. Go to the guest room. So yeah, just the rudeness. I, I feel like because nursing is not really respected, we suffer the brunt of it, right? As nurses, we get rudely spoken to. We can be insulted. We can be all sorts of things. However, with the physicians, they regard them more highly. You would never see someone speak to a physician in such a manner. Physician's not even going to be in your home, first of all, taking care of you. So <laughs> that's number one. So, but they wouldn't, I mean, I, I didn't see the lady asking her doctor what he ranked in his board exams, you know, that kind of thing. But I think that we're just less respected um, as a profession than the physicians are. And this is obviously evidence. Okay, so then she goes ahead to sleep on the floor. Watch this, guys. So here she is laying on the floor, on the bare floor. She doesn't even get a mattress. She doesn't even get a bed. Um, she has to sleep on the floor. I feel like she shouldn't accept this bullying because when you accept nurse bullying, it only just continues, okay? So the fact that she accepted it was another thing I didn't like about the movie is that she just kept taking it and swallowing it and dealing with it. And it's like, what am I supposed to do, right? Because I guess she was going to pay her a lot or she was just being a good nurse. Um, but I think that the more we demand the respect that we deserve, the more people will respect us, okay? All right, guys, I'm not done. I know you guys think I'm done, but I'm not done. <laughs> and I like the movie because she's kind of funny. There's some humorous um, scenes in this movie and I actually enjoy this movie quite a bit. So I'm just gonna play this scene that I thought was kind of ticklish. Please, sir, please. I'm sorry, sir. Please, wait, 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 sir. Please. Look, I know I may have stirred up some emotions, but I'm sorry. I just, I'm tired. I don't have strength again. Please, just come back. Please, I'm sorry. 
All right, no problems. I'm fine. B but you actually did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <sighs> Answer. Answer. This is your mom. This is your mom. You don't know what to keep quiet. Keep quiet. You don't know. <sighs> I'm sorry. She was nice there, but also kind of funny. This is the scene where she was advocating for her client and trying to mend the fences between client and, and son and things like that. I like the way that she was dressed. I like the way that she was well put together. Actually, most of the movie, I like the way that she carried herself. And also she sat at the table with, with the family when they had their meals. So she didn't come off as, you know, less than her station in life, which I really appreciated. There's one more scene that I want to show you guys, okay? So this scene, unfortunately, it's not very flattering for us as healthcare professionals that sometimes we make comments about the patients. I don't like that. I think it's rude. I think it's unethical. But here's another scene for you that I wanted to show you. And this is where the nurse and the physician are having a conversation. And it's right in front of the the patient. Now she is unconscious at this point, but even then, we don't talk about patients in the room while they're present, okay? So I'm just gonna play it. <laughs> She's so stubborn. It's so difficult convincing her to take her medication. Why did she hire me? You know, some patients are not so easy to handle. And thanks goodness you're able to handle her. Hmm? She's going through a lot. I mean, this is a lot of pain to deal with. I won't even wish this on my mother in spite of everything. Come on, Ansa. This is not the time to go down memory lane. You have a frail patient to take care of. I think you should concentrate on that. Sorry, sir. Excuse me. I don't like that scene because, like I said, it's not something that we're supposed to be doing in healthcare. And I think that if that's something that you may find yourself doing sometimes. Just understand that that is not ideal. When you want to have a conversation about patients, it has to be uh, medical in nature. No calling patients stubborn, no calling them rude, no calling them difficult. So that particular scene, I did not like that. You know, that nurse and the doctor were having that conversation. So if that's something that happens in reality, Mm -mm, no, please don't do that. <laughs> okay, it doesn't speak well of us as uh, um, as a profession. All right, so I think I have all of the important points that I wanted to hit. Um, again, it is, you know, it's a big no-no. Some of the portrayals of nursing in the media are, are damaging. They don't do us any good. They don't do us any justice. Um, and people are not going to want to be nurses if they know that or if they feel that nurses are spoken to in this manner and we don't stand up for ourselves. The media needs to do a better job at portraying nurses, and I know that nurses themselves need to do a better job at being more professional, standing up for themselves more, presenting themselves in a better light, and things like that. So the respect will be given usually when it's earned. So we have to earn the respect by the way that we treat people and that by the way that we also carry ourselves. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been fun reviewing this video with you guys. I've enjoyed it myself and I hope to bring more content like this. So please stay tuned, subscribe, like this uh, video, share with somebody that you think might enjoy it as well. And let's keep pushing the effort to increase greater visibility, greater respect for nurses just by better portrayals in the media. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.